Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 Framework tutorial. This is our part 9. Inside this video session guys, we are going to continue all about our Blade template what we had discussed also in the last video. And also guys, if you are looking up the blog articles of KKPHP4, Coordinator 4, MySQL, WordPress, Node.js, then you can visit this blogging website. If we back to browser, now this is the blogging website onlinewebtutorblog.com and inside this you can find several blog articles with interesting content. So here we have recently 6 posted blog articles. If you go inside these categories, as we can see that we have Codeigniter 4, WordPress, CakePHP 4, MySQL, Node.js and Laravel 8. So you should visit this website once and read its blogging articles. So back to the topic. So inside this video, we will continue all about the bleed syntax, actually what we had discussed inside last video. In the last video, we had discussed that what is bleed template, how can we execute PHP functions, what are the control structures and how can we work with. Now inside this video, we will see that how can we include our partial view files. If I back to editor, let's say that we have some view files inside any specific subdirectory. Right now, all these files at the root of this views folder. So let's say we have a partials folder or let's say we have an include folder. Inside that include folder, we have some view files. And now, we want to include those few files into our bleed template. So how can we include? We will see inside this video. So first of all, let's create a folder inside this views directory. And let's say we have a folder with the name of partials. And inside this, we are going to include a file something let's say top-header.php. It's bleed.php. If we write something top hyphen header, go inside this file, let's create a h1 element and let's say welcome to top header of this page. Save these changes. Now we need to make a route back to web.php file. Let's say that we have about us. It will go and open about.blade.php and this is the file right here inside this views folder. Back to this file and this is the h1 element content inside this view file. So we want to include this top header.blade.php as well. So to include, we have to use include directive. So as we understood from the last video that to use any directive, we need to add at the rate symbol. Let's say that include. And inside this include, we need to write parenthesis inside single quotes or double quotes. Simply, as we know, we need to go inside this partials folder. So let's say partials dot. It means we are going inside this folder. Next, we need to include this file. So top underscore header. So successfully we have included top header.blade.php inside this about view file. Save all these changes back to browser and if I type our route something about hyphen us now as we can see that we have successfully added our top header view file inside this about us view file. So this is the first point actually we have covered inside this video. In the next, let's say that we need to go inside this web.php. Again, let's say we have another file inside this partials folder. And let's say that about-us.blade.php. It means that we have another or let's say instead of partials if we rename this folder something let's say admin 
now inside this views folder we have an admin folder if suppose we are making a big project like the that project have a admin panel as far well as a front-end panel so we will make separate folders inside this views directory to contain their respective views files so inside this admin folder let's say that we have admin view files so in the same way we have a front-end folder which contains front-end view files so here question is that how can we include the view file here as we can see that we directly included a view file at the root of this but this time we are going to include a view file from this admin directive so what we had done inside this file inside this about the dot blade dot php we have used to redirect inside any of this specific folder so in the same way we can do anywhere inside this level application so if we want to read the view file from this admin folder simply we need to go admin dot it means we are going inside this folder and we need to include a file something called about underscore us back to this file let's say that h1 welcome to admin about us page now if we save this file go here reload this page and as we can see that successfully we have redirected our admin layout or the page what we have created inside this admin folder so in Laravel about the bleed syntax we have several directives so in later on inside this course actually we will learn also about form and CSRF token value so in that video actually we will explore the very basic concept and how can we use the CSRF token but for now we need to understand one thing that is to use or to add a CSRF token inside a form in Laravel we need to use CSRF directive so to use CSRF directive as we know that to use any directive we need to write at the rate symbol and simply type CSRF now if we save go here reload this page and if we press ctrl U as we can see that inside the source code we have a CSRF token value what is the use of CSRF token value why we need to add inside any of the form and what is the importance of that we will cover about each things in CSRF when we will learn about the form concept right now actually we had understood about that we have a CSRF directive which is used to generate CSRF token so in the same way we have a JSON directive back to web.php file let's say that we are going to pass some value inside this simply let's say names I'm going to pass some names here so these are the names actually we have passed and we can successfully retrieve inside this view file back here and if we want to print these values how can we print simply we need to use our bleed syntax and inside this we can use php functions so let's say that we are going to use print our function to print all the values what we are passing inside this view file so let's say here print r it's a php function and inside this we are going to use this names key because this is going to contain the array of values and i think that we have a mistake here because we actually didn't use a array symbol so here it's an array which contains the employee names so back to the view file and let's say that here simply I'm writing the name print R save these changes go and reload this page and as we can see that we are getting all the values also if we want to make use of here about the for each loop so let's say for each here we have let's names as name we need to enter directive so int for each and here if we type inside this h4 element 
let's say that here we have the name value so if we save these changes go and reload this page and as we can see that we are getting all the employee names into h4 tag so this is all about to use an array variable and to print array values inside by using for each directive so what is the point of concern actually we want to use json encode function inside php i think that you have used json encode function so let's see that if we want to use json encode function it is something json encode and inside this we need to pass an array so simply if we back here but inside laravel bleed syntax to use json directive actually json code function we have a json directive and as we know that to use json or to use any directive we have add the red symbol and this is how we can actually use inside laravel back to editor get rid of all these things let's say that simply what i will do i will write a script tag And inside this script tag if I simply write where names equal to and if suppose we can use a PHP tag here let's say echo JSON encode and inside this simply write names here save these changes go and reload this page back here go to console and what I will do we have actually declared our javascript variable press ctrl u as we can see that these are the values actually we are getting inside the source code but when we write here let's say console.log simply let's say names back here reload this page also we are getting all the values inside this console but let's say that this time actually we have used json encode function into php tag but actually we are using laravel blade template engine so instead of using in such a way what i will do simply we will write json directive and inside this we will pass our names array again if we save all these changes back to browser reload this page and if we check the console then we are getting the same value what we had seen inside json encode function again reload this is the value now if i press ctrl u as we can see the same output actually we are getting so successfully guys inside this video actually we have covered that how can we include partial views inside a bleed template as well as we had seen that how can we use like csrf token or it's a csrf directive about the detailed concept of csrf we will discuss in our form video also we had seen that what is the importance of json directive so in the next video guys we will discuss about that is how can we create a layout inside our laravel 8 so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day